We're at Kalashnikov's uh, Moscow offices where I have in my hand a weapon that's going to become very familiar to the Indian Army uh, not long from now. This is the AK-203 assault rifle uh, and over 600,000 of these uh, will in the next uh, few months uh, and a couple of years will become a standard infantry weapon with the Indian Army. And these, these weapons, uh, you know, once an order is placed, will start to roll out from a factory in the Korva village uh, in Amethi. Amethi, of course, the very politically sensitive Amethi, uh, where Smriti Irani is now the member of parliament. Uh, this was seen as a prestige project for the Modi government. It has been pushed through. Uh, it is a factory that happens to be a joint venture be between the legendary Kalashnikov of Russia and the Ordnance Factory Board in India. Now, what the Indian Army wants is for this particular weapon, uh, you know, a pretty worthy successor of the old AK-47 to become a standard assault rifle infantry weapon uh, for the infantry units of the Indian Army. Uh, one of the special things about this weapon, we're told, is that it has a special capability barrel. Uh, it has uh, retrospective compatibility with many of the systems, including the, the magazines and ammunition of the old AK-47s. Remember, uh, India's Rashtri Rifles units and infantry regiments are a, one of the largest users in the world of the uh, Kalashnikov uh, series of rifles. Uh, many different improvements. We're told that even at this particular stage, right before production uh, orders uh, flow in. There are teams flying between India and Russia to fine-tune the configuration of this rifle. Because remember, if over 600,000 of these are going to be produced in India and many more perhaps exported, they need to get it absolutely right. There have been problems with old weapons. Uh, the Indian Army is not very happy with the INSAS rifle. So they need to make sure that such a large uh, order and such a large project uh, uh, has all the details absolutely right because the soldier, the infantry officer ultimately cannot afford to suffer with such a detailed project being pushed through in this manner. So this is the AK-203 and by the end of July we hear that a request for proposal will be responded to by the joint venture between Kalashnikov and the Ordnance Factory Board and beyond that production will actually begin. It's also a very cheap to build rifle and that's one of the reasons why the Indian Army is able to afford to order them in such large quantities. Here we have AK-203. It has a folding adjustable stock. You can change the length depending on uh, the equipment that you use. It's folding on folding unlike AR-15 based weapons you know designed by uh, American companies. Uh, there is a more ergonomic pistol grip with finger grooves. Uh, new safety that is very easy to use, even without any additional training. You see, you can just your, use your fin the trigger finger to take it off or put it back on. Uh, one of the features we can offer with 200 series is an extended capacity magazine, 50 rounds of 7.62 by 39. One of the main features is the receiver cover with a rail. You can securely mount red dot sights and optics here, and it's very easy to use. It's very reliable. does not require any additional training. In fact, it's easier to use than the original dust cover because you had to fit it in a little bit, and it took some skill and practice here. You don't need any additional skill to disassemble the weapon. Everything else inside is roughly the same. There are four rails on the handguard, so you can mount lasers, lights, and other accessories, and, and a flesh hider. Again, oh, that also works with the compensator. You see the bottom of it is sealed, so the gas goes up and pushes the barrel down. And also, AK-200 series are more accurate than the previous generations, so we think it's you know, the really the best modifications you can do to a weapon.